Hey guys, welcome to my channel and welcome to Tuesdays in the Attic. It is week 37 today. It's also September, and the prompt is stars. I'm not really sure how we're going to work in stars. Um, my only... Because I really want to get these pictures done. And you'll actually see the layout these go with next week. And I have leftovers from something from next week. So I'm not going to tell you about them today. So I'm really sorry. But I have some leftovers from next week. You'll see those again next week when you see that layout. Um, but I have all these photos. And I was going to do a whole nother pocket page. But then I realized. And I'll kind of talk about this next week in that video. I realized I can't do... A pocket page with this because I have a double page spread and then a pocket page of all these pictures in my album so I have a page before that that needs to start so I need a page with these bison on it uh, before that so I'm looking at this sketch I really really like it um, I'm going to move things around a little bit my pictures are gonna be obviously a little bit bigger um, so I'm going to try and have the stack over here, uh, and then I will have my title. I think my plan is I'm going to fussy cut out these letters and do that right here with a little journaling. And so it's going to be a lot of photo and, uh, matting, and we're going to do some of these enamel dots. We're going to do these enamel stars is my plan. So that's how I'm going to incorporate stars. Other than that, I have no clue how to incorporate stars because I really want to get this, um, these pictures done. And this sketch was relatively close to what I had. So the sketch has all these photos, you know, over on the left in the title. So I'm just kind of mirroring it and everything's just going to be a little bit bigger. But I liked the idea of the column of photos and then title, some journaling. And that's pretty much it. There was a lot of good paper layers too. You might recognize some of this other stuff. This stuff is from a Bella Boulevard kit from the scrap room from last month. I was going to pair it with uh, this denim and do maybe a two page spread, but I got this. So this is a paper studio denim paper. Um, I really like the way it goes with this stuff. So we're going to pair it with this. I'm going to mat two of these photos on this last bit of rainbow stripe card I have. I'm going to mat two of the photos with this turquoise, um, the turquoise uh, scraps I have. I might mat one of the photos on the wood green that I have left over after I fussy cut these letters out. I don't know if I'll use this card at all. I'm debating. I might mat a photo on that too just so I have everything matted. And then I'm going to have this adventure fussy cut out. And then we'll use those enamel dots and the stickers. And then I just have some white scraps, which is not a big deal. Oh, and I have some washi tape. So it's not going to be super exciting. I might try to find, um, I might trim this down a little bit so the mat is just a little bit smaller. Uh, so it fits, the mats on these are going to be a lot smaller. I'm... I might try to find another couple pattern papers because the sketch has quite a few pattern papers layered up. We've got the main one that looks like it has stitching, which I could run it through my sewing machine after I get it all done, just around the edge, which would actually be kind of nice. And then it was its pattern with a pattern. So I technically need another pattern. And then they have a giant embellishment cluster over here. But my photos are gonna kind of creep over that way. So I don't know how much I'm going to have. I'll see what I can find in my stash too. If I can find things that I like that will go with it. This might be kind of a stash diving type layout. Um, we will do that. And if I can find more stars, maybe I'll do that too. But for sure we're going to use these and these stickers. This is Simple Stories. These are from Simple Stories, I believe. Um, or it might be Echo Park actually. Uh, so that is the plan. So let me get these things matted. Let me get this fussy cut out. Let me go try and find another pattern paper that would go well with this. Um, and we'll go from there. So stay tuned. Well, I apologize, everybody. I am in get it done mode and I started gluing down things and not showing you. So I grabbed, um, a sticker sheet from the Simple Stories Let's go um, because on my project next week I also added some of that and added some florals and some stickers and things and just created a small cluster here. I've just included those star dots. I think that's all I'm going to do. So I mean the prompt is just stars. Nobody says how many stars you have to have. <laughs> but I have a fussy cut my 
adventure title out. So I was going to... I don't know if I can fit. Can I fit three? Maybe I can. It goes off a little, but... I'm going to spell out bison adventure. <laughs> I'm all right if they go off the green a little. Uh, but what I did is I just tucked some washi, some of that washi around the whole edge. And that gave me what looks like another pattern paper. But I didn't have to go dig and say, I'm kind of lazy. Like, I have a ton of stuff in my stash. I just really don't feel like going to look through it honestly that's that's what it boils down to got a lot of this stuff from the scrap room a little off kilter that's okay awesome and I honestly don't think I need to journal too much because I think I journaled enough on the pocket page that follows this so I'm gonna call this quits this is the end of this layout uh, scrapped Humber. The playlist will be down below. Tuesdays in the Attic will be down below. Oh yeah, I traced around um, and did was stitching with a white gel pen. Like I said, I'm a lazy scrapper. I didn't want to clean off that edge of my desk where my sewing machine is. So, yep. <laughs> lazy scrapper. So, there you have it. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed and get inspired. And we'll see you next time. Bye.